Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Week. I wish you guys a great week ahead. So today I will be sharing um, another set of opportunities that is the available fully funded master's and PhD scholarships across all continents in the world, especially scholarship um, in Japan, scholarship in Switzerland, in Turkey, as well as other parts of the world, and also Erasmus scholarship as well, because there are still some open um, Erasmus scholarship. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I show you guys the scholarship, I will not be going into details on how to like submit a complete application. So if you want me to do a video about um, a particular scholarship that I will be sharing, so just make sure you comment that specific scholarship. So I'll be making a video about how to submit a successful application. Of course, you can go through it yourself, but however, probably you are going to, maybe you like after one or two challenges. So I think um, you can comment that specific scholarship that I should try to like explain how to submit a complete application by doing like a step-by-step -step pro uh, procedure. So if you are just seeing my video for the first time, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So basically the first scholarship I'll be sharing with you guys is the Japanese government MEST scholarship for 2023. So this scholarship is available for undergraduate students as well as research students. So basically the research students are the um, students looking to have their master's and PhD in, in Japan. So the scholar, basically the scholarship is fully funded in that you can apply to like, it is for all field. So basically um, the scholarship is also fully funded. Like they provide for all the fees and also you have an um, opportunity to earn like this is the scholarship benefit. So just make sure you go through this video. So in this video, I will just be explaining how you are going to go about um, applying, like trying to submit a successful application. So because if you go, one, one important step is for you to go to your um, embassy website, like in the case of Nigeria, every country is uh, like every eligible country already have their own um, embassy, their Japanese, um, Japanese government embassy attached to your country. So just go to your specific country, like in the case of Nigeria, we have the embassy of Japan in Nigeria. So just go there, you are going to see the government, the document is the same for all the scholarship. So this is for the case of Nigeria. You can see the closing date is on the 27th of May, 2022. So all what you really need, you can see all what you really need is to go to this website. So if you are a research student, undergraduate student, college of technology, and also specialized training. So if you're interested in one of these, Research student is specifically for masters and PhD um, applicants. So here, yeah, if you're interested in masters, so you click here, so you go to the Japan website. So basically, this website is for everyone, every country. The documents are the same. So these are the five documents you will be submitting to your Japanese and um, uh, to the Japan embassy. In your, in your country. So basically we have the application form, the placement preference application form for this, field of study, certificate of wealth, recommendation letter sample. So once you're able to complete this form, so make sure you send it. So like in the case of Nigeria, let's go back. So in the case of Nigeria, so what you need to do, how to apply, you can see. So basically, interested candidate can access the application form and get them by using the link in the article below to, okay, you download that. So submit your application form in person or by post to the embassy of Japan in Nigeria. So basically, so you can see this is the um, address. So you don't have to go in person to this um, address. So you can post it through uh, post mail. So basically that, that is that about the Japanese uh, 
next scholarship. So he wants me to do a full video about how to fill each of these application forms. Sorry, let's go back. So he wants me to do video about each of these, um, how to like fill the application form. So just make sure you comment. So for the application form, you have a lot of stuff to fill just specifically your personal information. So you fill all your educational details, your grade, and also the course you are intending to study. So here you have to write your, like your motivation. So the specifically, it is very easy to fill. Um, so the next is your placement of preference, like the school you are interested in. So here you need to like select the kind of school you want to go in Japan. So just type, so because here you will be expected to write something about your study and research plan. So you really have to have a school in mind and also a particular professor you are willing to work with. So of course, the MEST Japan uh, will fund your scholarship. All you need to do is to be able to like have a particular professor in mind that you want to work with and also your certificate of health. So you'll be running like some few tests, especially I think S3 and some other tests. So you're only going to fill all this and submit. And lastly, your recommendation letter. So I think this scholarship is really uh, very easy to complete because you don't have to pay for anything except probably you want to submit, go to the embassy to submit your document specifically. So I think that is all about this. So if you want me to do a video about how to fill the application form and other forms, so just make sure you comment and I will try to upload a video about it. So the next scholarship I will be sharing with you guys is the Elmos Schmidt's program, which is a master scholarship for public policy and good governance. So if you are in the like art discipline, I think this is a very wonderful scholarship opportunity. So I think I have made a kind of video in the past about that scholarship. The procedure is the same. So what you need to do is check the application requirements. So you check the call. I think this will lead you to a PDF, the application procedure. So you have to check, okay, let's check the overview. So you have to see if your country is eligible. I think specifically this is always the same for all countries or uh, for all the DAD scholarship. So I think, um, let me try to search for Nigeria. So I think Nigeria is here. So I think Nigeria is eligible and other countries in the world. So specifically, if you also want me to do, and also one important thing is the scholarship is fully funded, like fully funded. You don't have to bother about anything they pay for everything so you can check i think i have like a document here yeah so this i will drop a link to each of these documents so that's not a problem for you so you can see the scholarship is fully funded they cover your tuition fee your living expenses in health insurance study and research grant subsidy if you're bringing in a family dependent also um so at first you have to learn the german language which is good so i think this is a very wonderful um, scholarship opportunity so even also wants me to do a video about this so make sure you comment um on, on how to fill the form and also how to apply to all those schools involved um also let me it is very important to mention that um, we have information about the master courses. So if you click this, so you are going to see the institution and also the master course that you must apply to. So you can see the masters of analysis, master of development and governance, master of public policy. So if you want me to make a video about this, make sure you comment. Um, also, I think that is that about that. So now the next scholarship, this is for everyone. I think it is very good. Uh, we have the Sabanshi University. So this university is in Turkey, also in Europe. So basically you have to just apply, just apply to their graduate program and you will be considered for the scholarship. You can see the graduate scholarship. So they have graduate scholarship for master's and also for PhD students. So it is really a cool scholarship. So all you need to do is to apply to their graduate program.
So they are graduated with their different faculties. So just submit your application and you will be automatically considered for the scholarship. Um, so also if you want to me to make a video about this, please make sure you drop a comment. Um, next is the Bradford Rain Dushintala scholarship for MSc in satellite systems engineering. So I think this scholarship is also good, is in the UK. So if you are interested, I will drop a link about. So this is the application form. So but one important thing is the fact that before completing this form, please ensure that you have either an unconditional or conditional offer for place on the university's MSc in satellite system engineering course. So you have to make sure you apply for an admission. The admission process is very easy. I think in two weeks, you are going to get your conditional or unconditional offer. So then you try to proceed to fill out this form. Also, if you want me to shed more light on this, make sure you comment. The next I will be sharing is the Erasmus Mundus Masters in Astrophysics and Space Science. So if you have a background in physics, in engineering, in mathematics, computer science, in space engineering. So I think this is a very good opportunity. You can see the application deadline is until the 6th of June, so which I think it, it is still like next month. So I think this is a very wonderful opportunity because I think this looks like this is their first time of accepting applicants. So make sure you make good use of this opportunity. Um, next is <clears throat> the yeah, Polytechnico Milano. So this is also like basically a university. So they offer a series of scholarship in terms of platinum, gold scholarship, and also silver scholarship. So the what you're expected to do is also to apply for admission. So make sure you <clears throat> apply for admission in this university and you will be automatically considered for the scholarship. So if you also want me to shed more light on this, so make sure you comment. Uh, as well, here we have the, um, also, they also have the doctoral scholarship. So I'll be dropping a link almost uh, 185 fully granted scholarship. So make sure you just click on each of them and you are going to see the available project that you can submit application for. Um, so I think that is a, that about this. So I will drop the link to each of these scholarship and you can navigate it yourself. And lastly, we have the ETH Zurich. They really have 121 fully funded PhD scholarship. You can see 100%, 100%, 100%, almost 80 to 100%, 80 to 100%, but most of them are 100%. So you can go to this website and check. So I think it is for almost all disciplines. So make sure you check each of them. So you can see, I think there's the filter button at the top. So you can be able to select doctoral. So it is going to just sort out doctoral of, opportunities for you and you can be able to like apply and submit a complete application. So if you really want me to touch each of these in details, because the reason for doing this video is the fact that it is a bit difficult to touch all these video one after the other. And also some of them are nearing um, the deadline. So I think it makes sense to share all these opportunity so that you can start applying and start the process so in case you have any trouble in any one of them, so you can just drop a comment for me, then I can try to like upload a video about a particular one that people are, people are really talking about. So I think that will be all for now. So if you have any comment or any question, make sure you drop it for me. I, I always reply as fast as possible whenever I get the notification. So. See you guys very soon. Also, if you are just seeing my video for the first time, make sure you subscribe and also like the video. So thank you guys. I wish you good luck and also a great week ahead. Thank you.